everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Fandom Fights. We got an exciting one for you today in the teams tournament. We have the number three seed, uh, which is the Manhattan Project. They are going up against um, well, it's the number fourteen seed. But well, welcome to Fandom bitch uh yeah yeah we're, they're playing welcome to fandom uh it's gonna be a very interesting match we got michael and kelly coming back always an entertaining uh and fun team to have who's played some really great matches they they like to they poo poo on themselves uh but they come in and they always spin disney animation and then do really well so uh it's wildly entertaining and then on the other side of things we got coho and scully who i think Really, really great team. One of the better fandom teams out there, but have just had some really, really bad luck over the course of the last uh, year or two years or so that they've been playing together. So um, uh, Coho announced earlier this was kind of going to be like his final ride in fandom. Will this be a successful one for Manhattan Project? We'll have to wait and see, but I'm interested to find out. Nick is here, obviously. Do you have any thoughts, Nick, about the match before we get into the promos? Remember what Tim just said? Same. Yeah. All right. Let's get into the promos right now. Uh, so we're in fandom. Uh, we yeah. just select a set of movies. Uh, we're probably going to lose. They probably know more about fandom than us, but there's something that we know more about uh, than them. Uh, it covers like 70% of the world. There's an Atlantic version. There's a Pacific version. Kelly, what am I talking about? You know what I'm talking about. Is it Mo- That's I'm right. Mo- <laughs> okay. how, how about we get some ocean facts up in here? Because what is this fandom <laughs> shit? Let's go. Ocean. It's ocean trivia. Let's go. I may not know what an ocean is, but I have 10,000 lakes around me. So I know what water is. Uh, I have nothing to say, Scully. What about you? I honestly, you know, I'd be cool with a, with a match about ocean facts. Yeah, I want to answer questions about anglerfish. Uh, let's play. Then let's make a fan. Nick, a couple things to take away here. One, I hate the ocean. Terrified of it. Seriously, like, so afraid of the ocean and the depths of it. Uh, Second thing, Koho says he lives around a lot of lakes. They might, they might be ponds. I'm not 100% sure. They might be a pond, might be, might be a lake. Might be a, a small body. Of Scully shaking his head backstage because he understands the reference. Uh, but Nick, any thoughts on the promos? Uh, y'all remember what Tim just said about the promos? Same. Nice. All right, let's get into it with round number one. Nick, how's it going to work? Round number one is going to work like this. You're going to get 10 questions in the realm of Phantom Fights. Each player will answer individually on their whiteboard. Each correct answer will be worth one point apiece. Uh, you'll have 15 seconds to answer, and at the end of 15 seconds, we'll say pens down, at which point you will reveal your answer and say it aloud. Should any individual player get all 10 questions correct in round number one, they would receive a bonus question. Each team will have three repeats, one challenge for the entirety of the match. Players, any questions as we get into round number one? Uh, you guys remember do what it. Nick just said? Say. Cool. Nice. All right, Nick, what's question one? Your first question comes in the category of Alien versus Predator. The question is, who plays Corporal Dwayne Hicks in Aliens? Um, I wrote a question that was originally here, and then you said to me, hey, Tim, uh, that question's wrong. And I said, yeah, you're right. You didn't it's need like, to tell everybody that. I like to be open with the people. Okay. We all have flaws. I feel like there's a line somewhere where you can be like, oh, I don't need to tell them this. One pens down. Let's go to Scully. Bill Paxton. Uh, we will go to uh, Kelly. Bill Paxton. We will go to Coho. Glad I didn't change it. I said Bill Paxton. And Michael. Uh, what everyone else just said, uh, Sam. I'm just going to run. It's incorrect. We were looking for Michael Bean. Michael oh. Bean. Oh, I switched him. Talking to me. Oh, well. All right, so your next question, lady and gentlemen, is in the category of Middle Earth. Who is the first one to say they will join Frodo on his quest to destroy the ring in Rivendell in the Fellowship of the Ring? Tim, have you ever heard of the concept of groupthink? Yes. I feel like we just witnessed that en masse. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty cool. Crazy. How'd that happen? Two H starting names, I guess. They all talk to each other. Like, yeah, five, four, crazy, three. Before two, the master, we're like, let's all write. Pens down. No matter what the category is, uh, let's go to Kelly. Aragon. 
Uh, we'll go to Coho. Aragorn. We will go to Michael. I said Sam. Uh, we'll go to Scully. Oh, Bill Paxton. No, I'm sorry. It's uh, Gandalf. Gandalf is correct. So uh, Manhattan takes the one point Josh lead Scully. as we get into the next one. What is it, Nick? Your next question comes in the category of the MCU. And the question is, how specifically does Icarus die in Eternals? Nice. Thanks. Nice. Thanks. I like what you did there. Yeah. I thought we were about to get another one where they were all going to be like Aragorn. And I, was like, <laughs> yeah, I, I definitely thought that as well. Um, I do I do have an Aragorn-related story I want to tell you, but I don't have enough time in this count to tell you, so five. I'm going to tell you it's afterwards like, more. Three, okay. I also have a two, story that one, you know already. Hands down. That's fair. Uh, Coho. Guys, you get it? You get it? His name's Icarus. He flies into the sun. Ho, ho, ho. Uh, let's go to uh, Michael. I said he flies into the sun. Uh, uh, Scully. Flies into the sun. And Kelly. Okay, I put burns because it's like into the sun and it burns up, but I... Mm. <laughs> I think we needed the sun. Yeah, I think we the needed sun. the sun part. Right. Yeah, because of the specific. But uh, so uh, Manhattan leads oh. three to one. Uh, Kelly, how are you feeling? Uh, because uh, it was specific. That's what I thought. Like you wanted, like the method of death, not the that. The I will death. say, I did think of the same thing. Of just like, are we asking for like how he died? Like, actually, you know, do you want to challenge? Let's let's challenge. Yeah, uh, we're gonna challenge. Fuck. It. No, no. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back after that challenge. All right, we're back from the challenge, a worthy challenge indeed, but we did decide that the uh, ruling on the field will stand. Um, we needed the part about going into the sun. So uh, Manhattan leads three to one. Is that what you have, Nick? That's what I have, Tim. Okay, so we're going to get into the next question, which is going to be in the category of Pixar. Which Pixar film features a character whose job it is to water the crops, which she tricks someone else into doing? Um, you ever been to a farm? Seen some crops? Uh, nope, not once. Interesting. I live in a town called Feeding Hills. Nice. A lot of farms, Tim. Oh, so you are lying to me. You're a liar. Five, four, three, two. Repeat. One. All right, that's going to be Manhattan's first repeat. Which Pixar film features a character whose job it is to water the crops, which she tricks someone else into doing? Um, I told you this last night when we were talking, but um, on the day that we're filming this, I'm headed to, it's a Sunday, obviously, with the Packers, uh, but I'm heading to a breakfast buffet after this. You did tell me I'm that. I'm really excited. I love a good buffet. Great. Awesome. I'm just going to get an entire plate of eggs. Cool. Just, just one plate of eggs. You like that one, Maggie? Yeah. There you go. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. We're going to go to Michael first. Um, I said the good dinosaur. We're going to go to Skelly. said Luca. We're going to go to Kelly. I said Turning Red. And we're going to go to Coho. I said The Good Dinosaur. The Good Dinosaur is correct. So Michael and Coho will hit that one, making it four to two. What's next? Next question comes in the category of scores and soundtracks. The question is, who composed the score for 2019's Dumbo? It's a really mean name to give to someone. Yeah, we should have called him Floppy Fuck. <laughs> yeah, you see those ears? What a floppy fuck. Floppy eared fuck, yeah. God. <laughs> Big dumb. Fandom <laughs> fights. Unrated. <laughs> <laughs> Five, four, three, what a moron. Two, one, ears. pens down. <laughs> Jumbo, Dumbo, my ass. Right, let's go to Scully. Danny Elfman. Uh, Kelly. Danny Elfman. Oh. Uh, Coho. This is a time of my life. Just left me scarred. Uh, Danny Elfman. And Michael. Danny Elfman. Yeah, Danny Elfman is correct. Uh, so it's six to four. As we get into your next question in the category of DC. In the Dark Knight, what type of animal attacks Batman during his final confrontation with the Joker? Mm. 
he ever yeah. confronted the Joker? Uh, if you mean saw 2019's Joker in theaters, I did, and it was glorious. Nice, nice, cool, good job. You excited for that musical sequel? Five, four, three, Don't two, one. Pens down. <laughs> Let's go to Kelly. Uh, dog. We'll go to Coho. My dogs are hungry. Uh, that's the beginning of the film. I know. Star. Uh, we'll go to Michael. Doug. And uh, Scully. Dog. None of you went the route of snake because, yeah, dog is correct. So good job. Uh, so it's eight to six. What's next? The next question comes in the category The Wizarding World. Who announces that there is a troll in the dungeons in the middle of the Great Hall in Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone? So I forgot to tell you the story before because we got all hooked up on the Icarus thing. But uh, so I, I have been watching this YouTube channel that like is spe- uh, specifically into like retro video games. And they were doing a whole video on Lord of the Rings video games. And the guy was like looking at one of the covers and he was like, yeah, I'm pretty sure his name is Aragorn. I've heard it pronounced Aragon in some places. Like in some of them, in some of the movies, they call him Aragon. But I've always called him Aragorn. And I was sitting there like screaming at my phone like you're a fucking moron. Couldn't handle it. Bye. That was my Aragorn story. Two, one, pens down. Uh, let's go to Como. Uh Quirrell. Uh, we will go to uh, Michael. I said Quirrell. We will go to Scully. Drown in the dungeon. <laughs> Professor Quirrell. And Kelly. Thought you ought to know, Professor Quirrell. <laughs> Quirrell is correct. <laughs> Thought you wanted to know. Uh, all right, your next question is going to be in the category of Mission Impossible. What was the first Mission Impossible movie where Ethan fires a gun? I had a question. I forgot. I was going to tell you, but um, yeah, do you remember that time that Nazario missed a perfect round because him, Thomas, Matt, and Mike all decided to answer the same wrong answer on the second to last oh, question? Yeah. It was very funny, and then I was like, dummy. And he knew the answer. You big idiot. Yeah. You big stupid flying elephant with big dumb ears. Fucking floppy ears. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Let's go to Michael. I legit have no idea. So I said Mission Impossible 3. We'll go to Scully. Mission Impossible 2. We'll go to Kelly. Mission Impossible 2. Go to Coho. Mission Impossible 2. Sir, Batman's not out there. Yeah, uh, Mission Impossible 2 is correct. All right, uh, your penultimate question will come in the category of fandom quotes. Thank you, Tim. (laughs) Question is, which horror icon's character said, in this town, Michael Myers is a myth. He's the boogeyman, a ghost story to scare kids. But this boogeyman is real. Uh, it's okay. It was just a, a, a mailman delivering some sort of package. We got to get Yeah. Uh, his old enemy returns. <laughs> I thought Batman might be out there. Maggie's the Joker. You don't know. Yeah. No one knows who Batman is. Maybe it's your mailman. Uh, everyone knows who Batman is in 2019. <laughs> or in 2022s. So I don't know why I said 19. Five, four, three, two, one. Thumbs down. He's the same guy. We'll go to Scully. Uh, Sam Loomis. We will go to uh, Kelly. No, oh, Laurie Strode. We will go to Koha. I also said Laurie Strode. We will go to Michael. I also said Loomis. Laurie Strode is correct. So uh, Manhattan leads 13 to 10 as we get into the final question, which is going to be in the category of DreamWorks. Who voices Tarantula in The Bad Guys? This movie's fun. Yeah, I like it. It's fine. It's cute. Eh, cute film. The more I think about it in these few passing seconds, the less I like it. Four. <laughs> Three, two, one. Pens down. <laughs> I kind of want to go to Michael first, just because of that. Michael. Uh, I mean, I just said Chris Rock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, holy fuck. <laughs> Uh, Scully. Aquafina. Uh, Kelly. No. And Kyle. Aquafina. 
Aquafina is correct. So, uh, Nick, I have a score of 15 to 10 coming out of round one. That's what I have, Tim. All right, how is round number two going to work? Round number two is going to work like this. It is the wheel round. Each team is going to get a spin at the wheel. If they like what they spin the first time, they can keep it. If not, they can choose to spin again, but they will be forced to keep what they spin the second time. Each team will get five questions in the chosen category, each worth two points apiece, unless you like to check down to multiple choice, in which case it will only be worth one. Um, be on the lookout. Stealing is available in round number two. Uh, any questions? I think that was it. All right. Yeah, cool. uh, no. Great. All right, your categories on the wheel today are Disney Animation, MCU, Horror Icons, Planet of the Apes, Star Wars, Wizarding World, Scores and Soundtracks, and XR. Take it away, Tim. All right, so Manhattan, you want to go first or second? Up to you. Uh, let's, just, let's just defer. Sure. I'm shook. All right, this is going to be the spin for Welcome to yeah, Fandom BH. No freaking way. That's <laughs> <laughs> on Disney Animation. Yep, I saw that one coming. That's absurd. <laughs> <laughs> you guys taking it? What is this luck? Yeah, yeah, we'll take yeah. It. All right, Nick, you want to go ahead and read them their questions in Disney animation? That's or don't we have Bob and mail you your belt back while you're at it? Oh. I'm so tired. <laughs> welcome, to, welcome to the fan of Are you prepared for your question in the category of Disney animation? Oh, sure. shoot. All right, your first question: Which Disney animated film features the main villain taking the voice of the main character? The Little Mermaid, Michael? Yep. The Little Mermaid, final answer. That is correct, for two points. Your second question. Who voices King Agnar in Frozen 2? Okay. I think it's Alfred Molina, but I just need to hear the multiple okay. choice. No, I he's in the movie, so if that's a character, okay. then, then we should just Five. go for it. Four. Shoot. Alpha Melina, final answer. That is correct for two points. Your third question. What is the first name of the main dinosaur in Dinosaur? Mm. Aladar, final answer. That is correct for two points. Was that Scully? <laughs> that was Scully. completely accidental, but it actually matched yeah, up. For it was. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? And the, and the lead. Um, all right. As we get to your penultimate question in Disney Animation. What specific type of hat is Johnny in the film Make Mine Music? A specific one I know. He's a fedora. Final answer. That is correct. <laughs> <laughs> Your <laughs> eyes lit up. <laughs> like, that was great. I was so excited. And mine just died. <laughs> All right. And welcome to Fanovich. Your final question. What type of natural disaster does the queen protect the city of Atlantis from in the opening of Atlantis, the Lost Empire? Um, well, it's like a, it's a tidal wave, I think, because it takes the city under. So is it a tidal wave or a tsunami? Is yeah. There an issue? I'm thinking yeah, uh, tidal wave. Tidal, like, yeah, fuck it. Tidal wave, final answer. That is correct for two more points and a clean sweep of Disney yeah. animation. So welcome to Fandom Bitch, bringing their total up to 20 to Manhattan's 15 as we bring back the wheel and the spin for Manhattan Project. It's on Star Wars. Sick. I'd Beautiful. use that if I were you. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. All right. Gentlemen, I will give you your questions in the category of Star Wars. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Which Star Wars film features someone exiting the Millennium Falcon using its escape pod? That would be Solo, right? Because that's the only one. Well, they, they, well, they launched the escape pod to get away from the... From the storm, I don't know if that's. I mean, I guess it has to be. I mean, that's the only one with the escape pod in it. Five. Well, hold on. Let's use four, three, two. Repeat the question. Okay, your question again. Which Star Wars film features someone exiting the Millennium Falcon using its escape pod? Because it, it's not a New Hope. It's not Empire. It's not Jedi. It's not Force Awakens. Yeah, well, you're right. Oh, well, that's. Has that's to be I guess it kind of has to be something. All right. I'll, I'll shoot it then. Solo, a Star Wars story, final answer. That is incorrect. Welcome to Fan the Bitch. Chance for a two point steal. So, What's the... I sort of, honestly, I sort of checked out on the question. It was about an yeah. escape pod. Um, I was thinking, is it like the most recent one? Is it like nine? Is it like Rise of Skywalker or something? Yeah, I don't think it's any of the originals, right? So, I don't it's... think it's Lost Jedi. Just want to go Rise of Skywalker. Everyone forgets yeah. everything in that movie. So, yeah. uh, Rise of Skywalker, final answer. 
It's also incorrect. We were looking for the last Jedi. And it, I knew it the second the words. Um, Ray uses it yep. to get onto Snoke's ship. Yep. Mm. All right. Can Manhattan, your next question. Who plays Padme Amidala in the prequel trilogy? Natalie Portman. Shoot. Final answer. That is correct for two points. Your next question. Who does Beckett take with him from Dryden's ship when he steals the coaxium near the end of the film in Solo, a Star Wars story? It's Chewy, right? Like as a hostage, yeah. Thanks, Chewie. yeah. Uh, Chewbacca, final answer. That is correct for two points. <laughs> you got to write the movie again. <laughs> it's okay, Nick. <laughs> I think Becca gave it away. I'll be honest. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, it, it does, but yeah, we got it. Even I need to move from the character. All right, your next question. In The Empire Strikes Back, Han attaches the Millennium Falcon to the back of a Star Destroyer and waits for them to do what before detaching and escaping? Dumping, dumping the, the yeah, dumping the trash basically. Yeah. Before. You you phrase it the way you want and say it. I don't want to. Dumping the trash. Final answer. That is correct for two points and the lead. And your final question in Star Wars: How many characters leave the Naboo cruiser and go into town to look for a replacement part on Tatooine in the Phantom Menace? Okay, so it's Qui Gon, Qui Gon, it's... Padme, uh, Jar Jar, and R two. Go for it. For our final answer. That is correct for two more points. So at the end of round number two, I have Manhattan in the lead with 23 to welcome the fandom bitches 20. So three-point game going into the round. Is that what you have, Nick? That's what I have, Tim. How's round number three going to work? Round number three is going to work like this. It is the betting round. We have five more questions in the realm of fandom fights. Once the players uh, hear the category, they can choose who will take the question and how many points they will bet between zero and two. Uh if they get the question correct, they will gain those points. If they get the question incorrect, they will lose those points. Uh, one player will take the first question. The other will take the second. They can reset for three and four, and teams can confer on the fifth and final question. We will play until someone is mathematically eliminated or we have reached the end of the match. Players, any questions as we get into round number three? Let's do it. Okay. Then the first category that you can bet points on is going to be my favorite. It's Jimmy B. Let's get bets, starting with Manhattan. Who's taking it and how much? Sorry, uh, me, and I'm going to. Okay, and welcome to Fandom Bitch. Who and how much? Uh, I'm going to go zero. Cause... Okay. Cool. Sounds good. All right, so your question in the category of James Bond. In which Connery James Bond film did Donald Pleasance play Ernst Stavro Blofeld? You added in the Stavro. I left it out because I always say Starvo. Uh, it threw me for a loop. So I'm glad that I caught it before. It's actually I the Starro. Question. Starro. Killed by Starro. I don't, I, don't um, think anyone, I don't think anyone's ever called him Ernst. Did is you that his name? Any Ernst? Oh, like, Ernst. Yo, Ernst. Five. Ernst, you want to grab a bite? Three. Like, Lubitsch. Two. One. It pens down. We'll start with Michael, who bet zero. I said you only live twice. Well, that's correct. And uh, Thomas. You only live twice. That is correct. So uh, no points gained or lost for Welcome to Fandom, bitch. But Manhattan goes up to, it's now 25 to 20 as we get into the next question. What's the category? Category is Marvel. All right, let's get bets starting with Kelly. Hey. And Coho. One. All right. What is the question, Nick? Question is. In X-Men First Class, Hank attempts to make a serum to cure his mutant abilities by using whose blood? Blood is gross. It's necessary. It is, but it's gross. In real life, I don't like it. As as a person made of blood, I'm mm -hmm. offended by your well, comments. As a person who has blood and finds it gross, I don't well, care. Five, yes. four, <laughs> three, two, one. Pens down. Coho. Uh, mystique, as they always do. And Kelly. Mystique. That is correct. So Manhattan goes up to 26. Welcome to Fandom Bitch up to 22. It is a four-point game with uh, three questions remaining. The next category you can bet points on is going to be 
DC. All right, who's taking it for Manhattan and how much? I'll take it for two. And who's taking it for welcome and how much? I'll take it for two. Okay, the question in the category of DC is as follows. What material can Superman not see through in 1978's Superman? Did, did you just call them welcome? Yeah. <laughs> welcome to weird. fandom. No, no, I know. Like, but, did it? You know. that's, that's their name? Well, no. WTFB? Yeah, what if a what well, I think I almost missed five, word. four, three, uh, repeat two. the question. That's going to be the first repeat for what if And your question is what material can Superman not see through in 1978's Superman? Or as some people call it, Superman the movie. Yeah. I would accept that as an answer. I would also accept Superman as an answer. Not to this question, but I've heard other places. Oh, that's true. All those answers. Well, why are you giving away? Well, we're not going to attempt. But God forbid we call it Superman the motion picture. I mean, fuck that shit, right? Yeah. So, correct. Great reference. Four, I'm phonetically correct. Three, we're fine. Two, 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 out references. One, pens down. We're going to start with Michael. I said iron. And Coho. He is the opposite of music man, lead. And your winner, Manhattan Project. The answer was lead. Uh, so with a final score there, Nick, of 27, 28? I don't How know. How many did Coho bet right there? You bet two. So 28. 28, yeah. it's 28 to 20. So uh, really good match, though. I mean, um, round one was really close. I mean, it was a five point game, but it was still really close. And they had both teams had an excellent round twos made it competitive in round three. I liked, uh, you didn't see it behind the scenes, but behind the scenes, we saw it like they were keeping it competitive. Just bet two. Like I enjoyed this match a lot. I think yeah. that Kelly and Michael continue to show that they're pretty good at this. Like they, yeah. they, they know underrated. what they're doing. underrated for sure. So let's get into post-match interviews, starting with, uh, Kelly and Michael. Michael Kelly, hello. Um, just going to throw this out there. If you guys want in the future, we can just save time, skip the wheel spin, just go right into asking you the questions there. Um, but with that being said, uh, you guys did great. Um, coming in at the 14th seed, playing Manhattan Project, who have proven themselves to be a good team. They've been in several contender matches already. Um, I think you were definitely coming in the underdog, but you proved that by the, this wasn't a clear-cut uh, cut and dry thing. So... Great match. You, you did fantastic. Uh, Kelly, you're, it's nighttime for you guys. People don't know. It's morning for us and nighttime for you. Usually it's the opposite. Um, so I don't know if you guys are morning people or night people, but uh, regardless, you, uh, you played really great. So how are you guys feeling about the match? Uh, I almost made like that same joke, Nick, but I was like, oh, that's going to make us get opponent's choice. Um, <laughs> but actually, well, so I'm glad I didn't say anything. Yeah. Uh, but no, I'm happy with how we played. Like, there was a couple around one where it's like, ah, oh, I wish I would have went the other way because that would have actually made it really interesting. Uh, we, we had a we, oh, we should, I wish we would have got that steal because that would have made things very interesting for sure. <laughs> and I wish I fucking bet two, which I said I was going to do, but I was like, there's just, yeah, I just was worried. And if I'd gotten that and bet two, that would make things very interesting, even more interesting than it would have been had we gotten the steal and more points in round one. If we had gotten every question right, that would have made things even more interesting. Oh my! Um, <laughs> no, nah, uh, they played well. Obviously, like they're like, you know, they're really good at this. Uh, I'm just glad we went to the third question at least. Kelly, how about you? Uh, we got Jizzy yeah. as well. So I'm happy. oh, thank you. We're doing every match we play. We're doing good at least, like making it a good way through the betting round. So like yeah. to to we're getting through a lot of our questions. So definitely, I think um we need to play with some more confidence, both yeah. of us, I, which will be. I think lovely. my prob yeah, I think my problem is is that I watch you know a lot of the matches, and I watch a lot of like the title level contender matches, and they're all like tough questions. Whereas I need to realize that when I play it's all like beginner level stuff. And it's like, it's just, it's not going to be like the super specific. I mean, I guess iron was, but I could guess that, you know what I mean? So it's like, it's that type of stuff. And I really just should just bet two from now on. Uh, so watch out opponents. Cause I'm going to be betting two in round three from now on. 
and you should be worried, you know. <laughs> Did we have any ocean questions today, Michael? Um, we didn't even get a Moana in Disney. Yeah, tidal wave. No, Atlantis. Atlantis yeah. Oh. Yeah. And then at go. the end, when they were talking about our team name, it sort of sounded like water, like Wutabufa, like water. <laughs> like, so, you know. Guys. Yeah. But I'll congrats on them. They played well. So, yeah. Great job. This unfortunately ends your run in the tournament, uh, but we will see. Welcome to Fandom Bitch back next year, if you would like. Uh, we look forward to it. So, <laughs> I said, sure. Uh, as we bring in our winners today, uh, Manhattan Project. Guys, um, maybe a bit more of a fight than you were expecting, but at the end of the day, you still. Uh, you still put it away uh, and performed very well. Uh, how are you guys feeling about the match? Well, Coho misspelled lead, so I, 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 exactly. I no. Okay, can I? Can uh, I nothing like whole, an LED light. Am I right? Can I? Can I explain my whole thing on that? I wrote LED and then erased the whole word. Wrote L E A D and went. I don't need a weird challenge. I'm gonna take the A out and have it be phonetically correct. So I just left it as LED. Great. Well, Sad. now we're going to mock you for it. Awesome. Um, I had a panic attack at 12 o'clock in the afternoon. I saw, I saw Scully freaking out. And I'm like, I need to stop playing with my board. <laughs> um, <laughs> but no, I, I feel pretty good about how we played. Um, for, for it being like 1030 in the morning and like on two days of, of notice, I feel like 28 points is really good for us. Um, I think that those two misses I had early in round one were very much rusty, like waking up gears turning i feel really bad about both those misses i should not have missed either of those questions uh but it's it's just the the rust from waking up i think um but i think getting back into the swing of things i think we're gonna be great going forward yeah i mean look it's morning time no my brain isn't really i'm still dead i i literally just got out of the shower when the match started so i mean yeah i mean like it's we won. We had fun. Michael and Kelly are great players. They got their That's strength, right. and we still, you know, were able to end it for the last question. So, but again, we're just, you know, this this is Coho's last ride in team. So we're gonna we're, we're gonna come into the next match, um, a lot more focused, and we're just ready to take on whoever's next. So, speaking of whoever's next, uh, you guys, this is a tournament, as you know, round one. You have won. You will yeah. round two. Uh, you will play. The winner of the number 11 seed, the unbearable weight of massive talent, or a possible rematch with the number six seed, anyone can cook. I hate to correct you, it is mediocre talent. Did uh, I say that? You, did the, you oh, said massive. Me, See, we we did it me most me now. Oh, you messed me up, Coho. Damn it. I, I did. I'm sorry. Uh, I, yeah, this is the movie. Um, I would love to play mediocre talent. I think that'd be a lot of fun playing Melissa and Anthony, but I have a gut instinct. We're getting the rematch with Jack and Matthew. Uh, and I don't want that because Jack is an annoying little shit. Uh, I mean, so, me, look, Cole lives run free in Jack's head. Coach I do. Jack head ahead. It's so, a penthouse suite. It's beautiful. Five, I five mean, bedroom, four bath. Look, if it's, if it's, if it's, uh, if, if it's talents, it's new, another new team we get to play. I'm I'm always excited when we play new teams. If it's Cook, we know it's going to be another great match, a lot like last time. So, yeah. Yeah. couldn't agree more. Well, guys, we look forward to it. Congratulations on the win today. We'll see you in round two uh, of the tournament. Tim, why don't you put a bow on it? Yeah, great match. Early morning. I want breakfast. Uh, Kelly, go to sleep. Uh, thank you for staying up, Michael. You should probably go to sleep too. You look a little tired. Uh, and then Coho, the Packers rule, Vikings drool. This has been a great match. Uh, we'll see you guys real soon with the next one. Keep watching all the tournament matches and all the other stuff we got going on. We'll see you real soon with the next one. Until then, have a good one. Bye. We are so glad you came. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye now. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs> And again, that's the hero gig. Part of the journey is the end. Goodbye, old friend. Kitty has to go.